Hi, uh, John Ozzy, uh, Head of Training and Development at uh, Audacity Capital. Let's try that. Um, today I'm reviewing the account of Romode. Romode has been trading with us from the 13th of March 2021 up until the present day of review 14th of June 2021. And as we can see the journey of Romode, He's had a drawdown initially of uh, minus 1.73%. Then as his account steadily grows, you can see the drawdown coming on to positive territory. He's had a daily gain of 0.13%, uh, ab uh, absolute drawdown of 1.84%, and he's managing 30,000 US dollars. Mm -hmm. Scrolling down and looking at his advanced statistics, we can see he's taken a total of 387 trades. And out of that 300, those 387 trades, he's won 320 out of 387. This represents an 83% effective strike rate. He's 83% right all the time. He's lost 67 out of 387 trades, which represents a 17% loss rate. So overall, this is a good um, win to loss ratio. Uh, let's look at the trades he's taken to help him achieve this 10% on um, back to back. And as we can see, um, he's traded quite a few pairs, but more consistently, he's made more money on the pound US dollar, and also he's made more money on the euro pound and CAD CHF. He's not really been successful on other pairs, but he's diversified his um, lot sizes, and he's um, trading across um, multiple pairs to help him achieve the 10% um, target rate. So this is a very good effort. Well done and congratulations on getting your 10%. If we look at from when you started in March, you achieved 1.23% um, growth in March, followed by 7.05% uh, in April. Then you declined to 1.54% in May, and we're up again to 2.49% in June and counting. So this is a very good attempt. Looking at some of your random trades, looking at your history, we can see your lot sizes are consistent, but yet again, um, not using a stop loss. And it's always recommended you use a stop loss when you're trading to protect you from market uncertainty, um, big spike in, can in candlesticks, or putting you in a situation that you cannot control, exposing you to excessive drawdown and excessive losses. So it's always good discipline to have a stop loss in place and also to have a take profit level in place as well. And on average, we can see you you tend to take your profit levels around 5 to, um, five to 15 pips initially. And as your account started getting bigger, you started increasing this. So small consistent gains will always help you in the long run, but it's always important to manage risk, um, have risk management in place. So this is a very good attempt, and I look forward to reviewing this account sometime in the future. And if you can just make a, make note of some of the things you're doing wrong, like not putting a stop loss in place, and precisely time your trades and stick to what brings you the most pips, which is the pound US dollar and the euro pound, as we've seen. So, and again, I do challenge you to kind of work on your risk management. And maybe what you can do to try and improve on this is by improving your percentage loss rate, try and reduce that probably about two to five percent and try and increase your success rate by an extra five percent. Then we know we're on a steady track to improvement and growing this account and building your confidence in the same at the same time. So I wish wish you all the best on your journey.